Okay, hey, so I'm assuming you start off with a power supply with uh, screw on terminals. You know, yours may look different, but I've seen all kinds of versions of this one. So, I suppose that you would uh, unscrew the wires from your screw down version and have something that looks like these little uh, C terminals and then these are the models that we shipped you with the plug-on uh, the plug-on ones that we pulled came with an adapter or something like that that pushes down with a lot of force and then we pulled these off before shipping So I ordered these from Mauser. I got enough to do eight power supplies. And they look like this when they come out of the box. What I've done to one of these is attach wires in this formation where every two holes is converted to a quarter inch quick disconnect. Now, these push on with a lot of force, a whole lot of force, and there's really no good way to take them off once you put them on there. But you push them down like that, and the other one next to it, this pin, I misaligned when I was pulling that cable off, so let me get it lined up again. Push it down on it. Okay, now they're both on there. Now, uh, the screw down terminals, for every one screw down terminal is equivalent to two pins on the pin version, and that's true for this one over here, and we've verified that electrically. So you could take this C clamp, uh, or C connector if you want it, and, and see if they could stick in there and work satisfactorily like that. I'd recommend removing these and crimping on a matching quarter inch quick disconnect that will fit onto this correctly. And so by going down the line every wire could be attached uh, as originally to the power supply by a quarter inch quick disconnect or with these. Though I think if you use these you want to slide some uh, heat shrink tube or something like that over it. I'll include a little tiny screwdriver that you'll need to operate these things because only a jeweler's flathead screwdriver will fit.